She's not strong. Super Nintendo has Battletoads. Two of them, in fact. Battletoads and Battle Maniacs and Battletoads and Double Dragon, both released in 1993. We'll start with Battle Maniacs, which came out first. This game looks, sounds, and feels like a proper Super Nintendo upgrade of the original NES Battletoads game. In fact, it looks like a remake when you just look at each level at a glance. The first level looks pretty similar, just with darker colors, although the boss is totally different. I actually like the first boss in the NES game a lot more. The second level you again traverse downward, but this time on a floating saucer thing. Next is I I guess the Battletoads equivalent of sewer surfing from Turtles in Time, where you uh, knock down pins, but don't hit the death pins? Okay. After that, once again, it's the Turbo Tunnel, and it's every bit as hard. This is one of my least favorite levels in any game ever. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, all the levels are pretty similar like that, with some differences here and there. The obvious difference is that the sprites are huge, and the sound is reinforced, so it sounds cool as hell when you boot the bejesus out of an enemy or ram him off the screen. Yeah, that's pretty much the hook in a battle Toads game, the satisfaction you get from booting, hammering, or ramming an enemy. It really looks awesome, and surprisingly, it doesn't really get old. What does get old is that just like its NES predecessor, this game is hard as balls. Two continues, no passwords, and that's it. Jeez, at least Super Ghouls and Ghosts had unlimited continues. And I don't have a problem with the levels like Turbo Tunnel on principle, just don't have it the third level of the game. It takes forever to memorize the patterns here, and after a while you begin to question whether or not it's worth it. I will say the visuals and sound does make Battle Maniacs at least somewhat worth it. The graphics here are tremendous, and the soundtrack was composed by none other than David Wise, who you might know from the Donkey Kong Country series. Anyway, it's a tough call to know to recommend Battle Maniacs or not. I really think I'd like it more if it were more of a beat-em-up, but there's there's a lot more to this game than just beating up bad guys, as you can see. The beat em up levels are fine, but the platforming stuff is frustrating for the wrong reasons, because mostly you don't get enough chances at it for how difficult it is. Battletoads and Double Dragon, the ultimate team, came out later in the year. It's a port of the NES title, and it also came out on Genesis and Game Boy. This is a little more like it. There's a bit more beat-em-up action here, but what I really like about Battletoads and Double Dragon is that it really does a nice job alternating level themes, so to speak. You'll start with a Battletoads-styled level, followed by a 2D side-scrolling Double Dragon level. It keeps the game from getting dull and repetitive. The graphics and sound are nice, not quite in the same ballpark as Battle Maniacs, but they do get the job done just fine. Anyway, Anyway, I wish more franchises were able to combine like this, particularly beat-em-ups, because it works well in this genre. We kind of saw it with Alien vs Predator, that was pretty cool. But what about maybe a Final Fight game with playable characters from Street Fighter, or maybe Knights of the Round meets King of Dragons, or a Last Action Hero and Cliffhanger mashup? Okay, maybe not that last one. Anyway, there's five total characters to choose from, Billy and Sid, as well as, for the first time, all three Battletoads. One really strange thing I should point out about both of these games is that they each offer a Player 2 A and B mode, A where you can hit each other and B where you can't. Who in the hell would willingly choose mode A? Wasn't that the biggest flaw in the original Battletoads where if you played multiplayer you just kept hitting each other? Why would they deliberately bring it back as an option you can choose? It's so weird. So yeah, if you play either of these games with a second player, choose mode B. One other odd thing about both of these games is that they stubbornly stuck with the original NES control scheme, with B as attack and A as jump. I understand going with the classic feel they're going for here, but sticking with just the B and A buttons works a hundred times better on the original NES controller. On the Super Nintendo controller, you gotta go Y for attack and B for jump. It's just so much easier and more comfortable and more natural feeling. So anyway, are either Super Nintendo Battletoads games worth playing today? Yeah, they are. In fact, I like Battletoads and Double Dragon a bit more because it's not as absurdly difficult. It has more of a beat-em-up feel to it and because I like the alternating blend of Battletoads and Double Dragon level design. Battle Maniacs is a kinda sorta remake of the NES Battletoads for better and for worse. So if you like the original, you'll like that game better. But either way, both are well made and worth checking out.